Programming the CompCut ACS Advanced Composite Plate Saw is a simple four-step process. The first step in our process is getting to our start positions. From the list of manual operations, we choose the Move to Start Positions operation. The Move to Start Positions operation takes two main parameters, the scale position in X and the fence position in Y. The X scale position can be read off from the scale that's engraved on the front specimen table. This is referenced from the side fence. Our fence position in Y is referenced from the back edge of the blade to the front of the material fence. Today we're going to take this panel uh, and cut it into some size specimens. As we can see from the reference ruler, the panel is approximately 80 millimeters wide and approximately 290 millimeters long. We enter the scale position of 80 millimeters for our X start position. And we want to start into the panel by approximately 10 millimeters. So we'll program a 270 millimeter start point for the material fence. Once we've entered the two parameters, the operation is executed by pressing the cycle start button. Once we're at our start positions, the second step in the process is to insert our material. Material is inserted into the machine and we're being careful to use the side fence as our perpendicularity reference. Once the material is into our fence clamps, we can clamp it using the fence clamp. The machine now has control of the material in the Y dimension. Third step in our process is what we call a sizing cut. This is our reference cut which sets the zero for our subsequent machine. The sizing cut operation can also take two parameters, the cut length and an auto back cut setting. The cut length can be used for doing partial cuts into material and zero is a special case which ensures the machine cuts right the way across the panel. In this case we're going to use the special case zero. We've now trimmed an off-cut from the panel. The fourth step in our process is to move on to making size specimen cuts. We select the specimen cut operation from the list of operations. The specimen cut operation takes three main parameters. Cut length, the specimen width and the number of parts we wish to create. Again, the cut length has a special case of zero where it will cut right the way across the panel. In this case, we're making ASTM D5379 specimens, which require a 19mm wide specimen. So we went to 19mm into the specimen width. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to make two specimens. Once we've entered the parameters into the specimen cut operation, it's again run using the cycle start button. The material fence moves the material forwards, and the cutting process begins. We have our off-cut, our first specimen, and our second, and our second specimen. 